Hi guys, ngayon isi-share ko sa inyo kung ano ang nangyari sa in-invest kong pera sa G-Invest na nasa GCash. I will make this video short so if ikaw ay nagbabalak na mag-invest sa G-Invest, itong video na ito ay makakatulong sa iyo. I-explain ko lang dito yung mga different funds na pinasok ko, yung mga brief description lang and performance update based na din sa graphs and information na makikita sa G-Invest. If ikaw ay bibili ng FUD na ito or hindi, this video is more on the update lang and yung conclusion ko and recommendation and a bit of insights lang kung ano ang galawan sa market ngayon and this year. Okay, let's start. If makikita nyo sa screen, I invested in these three funds. Atram Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund, Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund, and yung Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Funds. Yung risk appetite ko pala is moderately aggressive based sa test na tinake ko bago ako nakapag-invest. Actually, optimistic naman ako sa market last year nung nag-invest ako dito dahil maganda naman kasi ang performance based sa historical data ng mga funds na ito. Pero syempre, kapag nag-i-invest ka, hindi naman talaga 100% natutubo ang pera mo or mariretain or break even lang. It's a mix of fundamentals and technical analysis talaga ang mga nagaganap sa market. Due to the mix of pandemic, inflation, and current war issues, markets shifted to fear and a lot of selling has been happening in the market, resulting to downtrend or pagbaba ng mga investments. So for a bit of background lang, on each fund, let's see Atram Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund performance as of now. Iki-click natin tong investment products. So, for Atrium Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund performance, downtrend siya in the past 12 weeks. And makikita natin na ang past 1 year return niya is 7.9%. This fund includes the 30 big companies sa Philippine Stock Exchange, naming Globe Telecom, Ayala Corp, SM Investments, JG Summit, and more. Why I chose this fund? This fund includes telcos, real estates, and electricity or companies that provides power in the Philippines, which are necessities talaga, and these businesses have low chance, but not zero chance, of failing, and with or without pandemic, the people will still pay for these services. Okay, for the second fund, I chose this Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund, so the performance of this fund is downtrending, negative. Based on its fund overview in the past year, its return is negative 5.96%. So I invested last March 2021. During that time, hindi pa siya negative nun. Maganda talaga yung performance ng fund na to, yung Global Technology Feeder Fund that time. And this includes the global tech stocks such as Microsoft, Apple, and more. Gets ko naman to dahil sa inflation issues and sa war issues na nangyayari sa Ukraine, Russia, na naapektuhan yung mga global stocks. I chose this fund at time due to the tech giants na included in these funds. Lastly, for Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Funds, downtrend din siya ngayon. Based sa fund overview niya, yung past year return is negative 32.26%. So, ito yung pinakamalaking loss ko sa tatlo. Last year, nung nag-invest ako dito, siya din yung pinakamataas na gain. So, yeah. Also, this fund includes pala yung mga foreign companies na nagbebenta ng consumer needs such as the Amazon, Sony, and more. I chose to invest in this fund dahil, dahil during the pandemic, nagboom talaga yung e-commerce or yung online selling, buying, and also people stay at home. Buying consumer products and gadgets have increased. Okay, so may overview na tayo ngayon kung ano ang nangyari sa mga investment ko and a bit of a background on why I invested in those funds. Since tatlo silang downtrend, yung capital ko ngayon ay downtrend din. So, capital reveal na tayo. So, ito yung ininvest ko and ito na siya ngayon. So, for Atrom Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund, I invested 1,000 pesos and ngayon, 
may increase siya ng 71.65 pesos at around, or around 7.1%. So, ito lang yung fund yata na nag-increase. Then, for the second fund, at Trump Global Technology Feeder Fund, I invested 3,000 pesos. And ngayon, 2,824.14 pesos na lang siya. Down ako ng 175.86 pesos or around 5.9%. And lastly, sa pinakamalaking loss ko talaga, for Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Funds, I invested 5,000 pesos and ngayon, 3,346.20 pesos na lang siya. Ito talaga yung pinakamalaki, around 66.9% down siya. So, in conclusion, I am aware of the happenings ngayon sa mundo. Supply chain disruption, war, threat of reorder ng world power, Philippine election can also be an effect eventually, inflation and pandemic. Fundamentally, medyo shaky talaga ang market ngayon, thus nagsibabaan ang mga funds at maraming nagsisell sa market. There are two mindset that you can establish, but warning, this is not a financial advice. I would like to give a disclaimer. This is all based from my experience and what I have learned in the past two years dwelling in the markets. Okay, number one, you can take it as an opportunity to buy while it's still low. However, we do not know when is the lowest or the dip. What if yung dip? Magdi-dip na lang siya na magdi-dip hanggang hindi mo na alam kung ano talaga yung ending ng dip niya. So, number two. If you are planning to invest in GNVest now, maybe set it a little more later na lang and save your money from this downturn thing and all the issues so world because we never know when will these issues be solved and the market will rise again or maybe it will never rise. We never know. Instead, you can set aside your money on digital banks with high interest as of now so that is still earning while you are saving it or not spending it. Just a tip. In these kinds of investments, malaki talaga yung risk and that is why you invest the money na okay lang mawala if ever hindi mag-appreciate yung investment. Huwag na huwag i-invest yung pera na kailangan yung gastusin for your needs daily. As for me, I will not pull out my funds. I will just leave it there. As I still feel the market direction based on the current events, also I am aware of the risk when I placed money in G-Invest. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe.